हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल थैंक यू सो मच फॉर योर सपोर्ट ऑन ए 900 सीरीज एंड वी आर बैक विद ए 102 हंड्रेड टू प्रैक्टिस क्वेश्चन सीरीज सो इन दिस सीरीज वी आर गोइंग टू डू लॉट्स ऑफ प्रैक्टिस क्वेश्चन स्पेसिफिकली फ्रॉम द पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू ऑफ ए 102 हंड्रेड टू एसोसिएट ए एसोसिएट एग्जाम सो दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एग्जाम एक्चुअली दिस इज द लाइक बिगेस्ट एग्जाम फ्रॉम अजोर साइड फॉर ए आई परस्पेक्टिव सो विदाउट एनी फर्दर डिले Let's get started. So, first question is which computer vision client library used to analyze image description? So, this question also uh, like clears many things. Even if you don't know, if you are coming as a beginner, this I am going to explain everything from the very starting. And this exam is also like anybody from beginner point of view also can do it. so i strictly suggest you you go with uh, like our videos and i am 100% confident that you will be able to crack the exam if you follow all these videos strictly okay so you can see like computer vision client library uh, is used to analyze image description but you don't know like which uh, computer vision library but it is now just reading question it should be clear in your mind that computer vision is used to analyze image description okay so which uh, client library we are going to utilize so if we see the option visual features types so all have that visual features type and then it has dot description dot tags dot categories dot colors so i can easily even if i don't know anything about this exam i can easily guess okay yes this it would be description basically it is currently matching if you know like simple english because some question are definitely going to be so simple that if you know like uh, english well then you are able to easily uh, make sure uh, get the answer okay so here i can see it is visual features type dot description okay but in this video i am going to like ex not only just uh, uh, just going through the practice question i am going to explain you a more bit about it so you will get a proper understanding about azure how azure ai works because that is also very important okay so i just selected it and uh, it seems out it's correct but here you need to understand like in exam what they will do they will throw you some code okay and they will put in that code they will put it and they will ask okay what does this code is doing so now you know this is used to analyze image description okay so this way you need to understand think into other way like uh, these questions if you understand the concept then it will be if it comes in any type of uh, manner it will be easier for you to understand why the they sometimes code c sharp code as well because microsoft azure generally throw code in c sharp and because it's its own their language and uh, they sometimes throw code in python as well so if i just can give you an example because this is a like important question i have seen this in real life exam and uh, talk with other students as well so what you have to do first if if you want to utilize if you want to do uh, analyze some image description what you have to do you just go here and uh, like this code is in python so you can just import the computer vision client from this uh, azure cognitive services vision dot computer vision then you import the visual features type and uh, just credential then you just uh, enter your key and region you enter your credential and i have stored my computer vision client endpoints and pass the credential and stored in this client variable then to analyze it what will i do i just do analyze dot uh, analyze underscore image client dot analyze underscore image and what do i want to analyze i will provide into this visual features okay i want to analyze uh, something i want to get the tags then i will provide visual feature types dot tags or similarly for description i will provide visual features type dot description okay so this way you can uh, like analyze based on what you want okay if i want to get the tags so i can do it and here i am printing all those tags which uh, after analysis model feel okay these tags can be attached with this image or representing that image after it's done with the image analysis okay so now you know how to do the image analysis and how to pass like particular features just like tags or description and we will we are going to discuss more through our question in next week so i hope this question will be clear to you 
our next question is which computer vision client library used to analyze image text so now we instantly know okay so it is visual features type dot text so i created it and uh, here i provided the link also uh, you can check it out you can just copy it or take a screenshot out of all these questions and uh, do it yourself now how to read a file from a local file system okay you want to read from a local like it's not like a link is somewhere uh, and you want to read that from a local file system you want to read so it's file dot open read local file dot read read file dot local local read dot open file so sometimes as i said like code would be generally in two languages python or c sharp so here it is asking uh, from the c sharp as i can see from the option so it is for your understanding in questions also they like they throw you some code okay and they will ask okay is this code is reading something from local file system and if you don't know okay like which uh, like which library basically you utilize to read from local system then it will be difficult for you so the here the option you will be file dot open read okay so it basically opens an existing file for reading it's a system io uh, like basically string you have to pass okay then which azure service is best suited for analyzing visual content in image and videos to categorize content okay so it is asking uh, like uh, to analyze visual content in images and so you want to analyze visually so let's see the option azure ai vision it's look like uh, this can be an option azure cosmo db it's a database so like it it can store but i don't know if can like analyze or something i am just thinking from a uh, very basic like how you need to like uh, uh, filter out the option so this is definitely not in my list then azure cognitive search can it do analysis mm, maybe might be but it's a, look like a search service then there is a azure function so like uh, as my more focus is azure ai vision and uh, like i know for uh, like uh, you should be aware like to do anything related to visual content like if you want to analyze something visually through live cameras images or uh, like uh, any live feed is coming then you have to use azure ai vision service okay so this is a very like self explanatory options like another question is which of the following best describe the prediction made by machine learning model okay so here question is asking which of these option is best describing so remember whenever you are giving any certification exam there might be any chances that all options are correct but you have to choose the best one okay which is the best describing your answer okay so here it is asking what is the like uh, if a prediction is made by machine learning model so which statement is like uh, representing the predictions okay what does it mean by predictions in simple language so is it probabilistic values based on correlation found in uh, training data or randomly selected values with equal chance of selection so definitely like uh, it's not a randomly selected value okay right so this is definitely going to be not my answer absolutely correct values based on conditional logic so we know like machine learning sometimes can give you wrong answers also so it is not definitely absolutely correct and like uh, conditional logic because machine learning models basically rely on training data so like a1 is the best suited answer for me and it's basically represent probability that's why we see like uh, when it gives you like and matching suppose if we take an image example it will show it is matching 99% 98% or maybe in terms of confidence score which lies between 0 to 1 one means it is best matching so it says like if this image is matching one with confidence score one with banana that means it is 100% matching and if it is saying confidence score zero that it is not at all matching it is like machine learning model is 100% sure it is not banana okay so it basically relies on the correlation found in the training data and gives us a probabilistic probabilistic values okay so of course a is going to be correct and as we discussed like machine learning models are trained using uh, historic data and they rely on the algorithms to find the like uh, statistical relationship in the data and uh, yes pre prediction as we talked it relies on the like probability and uh, like they are generally accurate 
but they are based on the confidence store which basically as i said it basically a level of probability but in machine learning terms okay now next question is to enhance security which of the following steps should be taken to protect account keys for azure ai services okay so now you want to secure account keys for azure ai service okay so where do you store your account keys you store keys in plain text file on server so definitely by reading it i can say you should not store any type of credential or secrets into a plain text file Def that is definitely not going to be my answer then store account keys in public repository definitely not you don't want to publicize your account keys and because you want to secure it the question is asking thing and you want to enhance the security next is store account keys in environment variable so that is also not sure because uh, that can be read by others as well or they just write up uh, if they read like they type as some commands to read the environment variable and it will be visible for me so uh, definitely i don't want to do it last option is store keys in azure key vault which is the definitely right choice so azure key vault is the basically a cloud service for securely storing and accessing secrets just like here we want to protect the account keys or anything you want to secure it we utilize azure key vault in uh, azure if you want to any secure anything just like api keys password certificates or cryptographic keys and uh, it also like uh, i provide some additional information here you can read it from the like uh, screen basically just more about the key vault okay so this way you can utilize our question and that's why i want to give more value in less time so i want to move to the next uh, question so you want to index a collection of text documents and search them from a mobile application okay so you basically want to index so you can would be easily able to search it and uh, it's a collection of text document and you want to search them using a mobile application which services you should use to create the index you need to understand the two important keywords one is index and one is search basically you want to index it and search them for mobile application so basically this is and uh, which service you want to create the index okay so this is the like main lines you need to remember from the question so azure ai service azure open ai service azure ai search and azure ai index service so index service like uh, but there is no such thing like azure ai index service okay so this is just to confuse you okay and the ai service and open ai service this is also like just to distract you uh, because they, they like we are not utilizing anything model we just have to create an index for it so which is the perfect thing for the azure ai search which is used to index document for the search purposes okay so it will be helpful when you search it you will get uh, like uh, azure ai search will be helped to uh, index make the index and so you can search faster okay a data scientist has used azure machine learning to train a machine learning model how can you use the model in your application okay so you have already used azure machine learning and you have trained the model using that service now you want to use that model okay trained more like you already have a trained model you want to utilize it so how you can do it so first option is use azure machine learning to publish the model as a web service so that you need to know like azure machine learning can train the model as well as well as it can publish the model if you don't know it then you might get confused so like uh, this probably is my uh, going to be answer let's read other options as well so if you see one answer don't go with it just read all option because as i said you have to choose the best option maybe it is correct but other option maybe might more correct okay then you have to export the model as an azure ai service uh, i don't think there is a need for that and you must build your application using the azure machine learning designer so that is definitely not an like compulsion for me so i am going to choose a so yes definitely this was the answer and uh, you have after publishing the as it as a web service you can consume it using your application through its rest interface so that is also additional information i have already provided you so you just uh, publish it as a web service and then consume using rest interface or rest apis okay 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज वेन कॉन्फिगरिंग डायग्नोस्टिक लॉगिंग फॉर एजोर ए आई सर्विसेज विच ऑफ द बिलो एक्शन आर नेसेसरी डिफाइन मेट्रिक्स टू बी कलेक्टेड डिफाइन डायग्नोस्टिक सेटिंग्स एंड कॉन्फिगर लॉक डेस्टिनेशन डेफिनेटली वेन वी सेट अप डायग्नोस्टिक लॉगिंग यू हैव टू जस्ट इनेबल द सेटिंग्स एंड यू जस्ट प्रोवाइड ओके वेयर यू वॉन्ट टू लाइक पुट योर लॉग्स एंड देयर विल बी लाइक मल्टीपल ऑप्शन अवेलेबल सो डेफिनेटली दिस इज गोइंग टू बी माई चॉइस एंड लास्ट ऑप्शन इज सेट अप डेटा एक्सपोर्ट शेड्यूल सो डेफिनेटली बी इज माई ऑप्शन एंड यू जस्ट हैव टू इनेबल द डायग्नोस्टिक सेटिंग्स एंड लाइक यू हैव टू सेलेक्ट द टाइप्स ऑफ द लॉग ओके अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस लॉग डेस्टिनेशन इन द डायग्नोस्टिक सेटिंग यू हैव टू लाइक चूज वाट टाइप ऑफ लॉग्स यू वॉन्ट टू कलेक्ट ओके इज इट परफॉर्मेंस मैट्रिक सर्विस स्पेसिफिक मैट्रिक और रिसोर्स स्पेसिफिक लॉग्स वाट टाइप ऑफ लॉग यू वॉन्ट एंड यू कैन चूज द डेस्टिनेशन लाइक अजोर मोनिटर लॉग्स अजोर इवेंट हब्स और अजोर स्टोरेज फॉर डिफरेंट पर्पजेज ओके सो लाइक यू हैव टू कॉन्फिगर द लॉग डेस्टिनेशन लास्ट क्वेश्चन इज यू बिल्ट ए बॉड बाई यूजिंग द Uh, so this is last question for this video i will make like uh, more and more videos whatever is specific necessary for particularly for ai 102 exam so we are going to do a lot of questions and uh, i am 100% sure all the questions are definitely going to help you and we will not repeat any question i will definitely try that that not a single question got repeated but uh, and uh, please let me know like how's the session is going and how you guys are enjoying the video or not and uh, so we will continue doing it and we will do like hundreds of questions okay so let's do the last question of this session you built a bot by using microsoft bot uh, framework sdk and start it on local computer okay so you already built a bot using a microsoft bot framework sdk so you now you know like to build a bot you can utilize microsoft bot framework sdk so always try to learn from questions as well okay and uh, you started it on local computer okay now you now want to validate the functionality of the bot okay you want to basically test it what should you do before you connect to the bot okay how you can um, like uh, before you connect it how you can basically validate the functionality so you run the bot framework emulator you run the bot framework composer or you register the bot with the uh, azure bot service or you run the windows terminal so definitely if you want to like uh, we know from real world also we want to basically emulate it so the best service and it is a very powerful service like bot framework emulator so uh, my answer is going to be that and yes it's a uh, like correct answer which allow us to test and debug your bot locally so here because it is you started in local computer and you want to test locally then definitely you are going to utilize bot framework emulator so here in the keyword is like uh, it's um, made using bot framework sdk and it started on a local computer and you want to test uh, the functionality or debug basically so for that bot framework emulator is the correct choice even like you may like by seeing the exam uh, some may think okay some questions are like feel outdated or this is not considered into a uh, scope of exam but i am going to like uh, we are going to cover every single question which is important for this exam we are not going to miss anything we want like good score as well okay and we are going to cover anything because not all the questions like same some questions you are definitely going to miss in exam it's not like you are going to know everything and you are going like uh, full out of full score okay so we have to like uh, read all aspect of this ai 102 exam okay we are not going to miss anything so i hope you enjoy this video i hope you sincerely prepare for ai 102 exam and i wish you all the best for uh, your ai 102 exam and uh, we are going to continue it with a lots of question and if you have any suggestion or feedback for me please let me know in the comment section make sure you subscribe the channel for the upcoming videos and like this video and share with your juniors and colleagues see you guys in the next one bye